Well, it may be hard for a pair of Connecticut twins to explain this to friends someday, but their mom, well, she doesn't seem to mind the confusion. Yvonne Nava shows how moms labor emergency force doctors to deliver the twins 10 days apart. After years spent trying to get pregnant, Jessica Fruchtenick finally has a baby girl. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. But it's been a long road to bringing this baby home. Shortly after learning she was expecting, Jessica got the news she was carrying twins. I cried. I cried. I was a little stunned. Joy turned to fear as a pregnancy brought various complications. The biggest of all happening at 23 weeks. My water broke and um, I just I didn't want to recognize it or believe it. Soon she was in labor at a point in pregnancy when the chance of survival for the babies is extremely low. First a baby girl named Brooke was born. Then to everyone's surprise Jessica's labor stopped. For the second baby um, we knew that that baby was larger um, and if we could buy some more time for that baby um, the outcome would be much better. It's extremely rare, but Dr. Amy Johnson says occasionally twins can be delivered at different times. When I called my husband to explain to him, he, he would, I think he would just about drop the phone. He was like, what do you mean? How can you deliver one without the other? Baby Brooke survived less than a day, but Jessica kept hope alive for the baby still growing inside her. It's amazing how each day at that stage can make such a difference. Ten days later, on February 13th, a second baby girl arrived, named Addison. She weighed one pound, 11 ounces. She has just been a total fighter from the day she was brought into this world. Within hours, she was breathing on her own. And after a couple of months' stay in the hospital, she is finally home. She's truly a miracle. The whole experience was a miracle. A miracle that has changed Jessica's life. Yvonne Nava, NBC News.